Hi everybody, welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. I have this um, 12 by 12 board that I did a recent pour on that I'm not happy with, so I'm going to try to make something pretty out of it. I did not sand it. You don't always have to sand it. And you can tell I spilled some resin from before over top of it. So I set it aside, it's been sitting there for like a year. I am using Pro Marine tabletop resin. This gives it a harder finish than the art resin, but it doesn't give you a lot of working time. But I don't need a lot of working time because it's a 12 by 12 board. It is a mixture of one part uh, resin to one part hardener. I'm gonna stir it together for three minutes in fast motion so you guys don't have to watch me mix. Okay, here's my color cottage mica pigments. I have purple, blue, gold, teal, and this cranberry. Pretty colors, you just need a little scoop of this mica. Now you see that I have a respirator on. Because whenever I mix mica in with my resin, I wear a respirator. How pretty is this purple? This purple is amazing. I love the color cottage mica pigments. Everybody knows I'm obsessed with them. And this blue, oh, see? You see that mica fly out of there? That's exactly why I wear this respirator, guys. It covers my eyes, my face, everything. I don't want that stuff getting anywhere near me. I mean, it is a very fine dust powder that flies everywhere. You can see it in the air sometimes when you're working. You know, a lot of artists I see on YouTube don't wear any type of face mask at all. I mean, it's totally up to you, you decide. It's my health and um, I'm not gonna risk it for anything or anybody. So my suggestion to you would be wear a respirator, but it's your call. As you can see, I am pouring color on top of color in random order. I'm trying to make each one look a little bit different. It's also called a puddle pour, which doesn't work too well with resin. Um, I'm, I want them to kind of make them look like flowers. So that's what the look I'm going for. <laughs> doesn't mean it's gonna happen. We'll see. Remember you guys that everything I use in my videos is always listed below. So you can just click on the link, takes you right to the Amazon. You can purchase anything I've ever used in my videos. It helps me, it also helps you because it takes you right to whatever you need. And I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. It's looking a little bit bare up top. So I'm gonna add another puddle pour up there. Nothing too big, nothing too fancy. Just wanna give a little color up top there. Probably should add two, but I don't have enough pigment mixed up. So I think one, I think it'll work. Right now I have some clear in my cup and I'm going to pour that all around my puddles. I'm gonna blow dry these out. I think I put a little bit too much clear so they're not turning out like flowers like I thought they would, but I'm gonna keep working on them for a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of pigment into the center of each one and have it come out with my tongue depressor. 
just to add a little bit of realism, kind of abstract realism, I guess you would call it, just to make it look somewhat like a flower. And each one I'm doing a different color. I think that will make it look a little bit better, make it pop a little bit more. And that's it. I'm going to torch it, get rid of all the bubbles, smooth it out a little bit, and it should be done. I'll bring the camera close up so you can see what's going on. Hopefully you like it. Crazy, right? I like it. I'm happy with it. I mean, in person, it's absolutely stunning. A little crazy on camera, but I'm happy. Let me know your thoughts on it. I really appreciate everybody's comments. Everybody get wells. Um, thank you so much for watching my channel. I love all you guys. You're the best. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm going for a walk. Come on, let's go. Say goodbye.